Hey y'all, and welcome back. This is Farm Sim Dad, and today on the dairy farm, we're gonna start, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, start prepping our fields for corn, for the corn silage. So we're gonna, we're gonna kill some weeds. Uh, we don't have weeds on all the fields, but a few of them, I already started it earlier today. I wanted to try out our new sprayer. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna spray the weeds down get those killed so we can use our new fancy brick drill corn planter we got here um so corn plants uh next month we can plant it next month so we might get to that i don't know we'll just have to see how long it takes us to spray the weeds down uh, so i bought the, the corn spreader and i mean the corn planter and i also bought this uh fertilizer spreader here so that'll be be fun to use this also spreads uh lime and we do have a couple of fields that need lime so we might we might do that today too just to get those all good and ready for corn but let's uh hop in our little mahindra or what is this yeah this is mahindra head out to the right over to the spreader and get it going again this thing's pretty sweet i spent a lot of money on it but it's nice um it's self-propelled. Uh, I think it had a 48 meter spread on it, so we're gonna knock these fields out in no time. Uh, the line might take up. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still kind of sick, so I apologize for the the coughing or clearing my throat. I'll try to mute it if I have to cough. But anyway, so uh, the fertilizer. Anyway, I'm saying the fertilizer spreader uses a lot of lime, so we might have to make a couple trips back and forth with that. But so this is a field. You can see the weeds here are dead where I've sprayed so far so we'll just be able to take our no drill tiller uh, no drill planter right across the top of these um, but we got there's our new spreader that thing is sweet I'm just gonna leave this right uh, yeah I've already oh snap didn't mean to do that we'll just leave this right here on the road since I've already sprayed this I shouldn't have to turn around right here all right all right let's speed it up a little bit yeah so this thing is sweet 48 inch self-propelled party Rubicon 9000 here I'll show you in the store here in prop protection yeah and i turned and i added the gps so it was over five over half a million but boy this thing is sweet got the 48 and a half meter spread 15 miles an hour and it holds 9,000 liters of herbicide so i think it'll do will it do fertilizer too oh yeah so this thing is awesome let's get her going Show you guys how it works now on the sprayers i do use the gps uh, remember how to turn that on there we go oh turn it on and we'll lock it in we'll get her going yeah this thing is awesome and you can see how much i've done and it's only used 28 percent something so 27 i guess anyway. so it runs at 16 um putting it down and that was the end of that field but we got this next one too so we just run it straight across i'm gonna i'm probably excuse me <clears throat> i'm probably not gonna be able to use the gps on those small sections just because we'll have to work around the trees and the and the barns there but <clears throat> I do, I kind of like that the sprayer is on the front. Uh, the spray bars are on the front, so you can, you don't have to back into tight spaces to spray. You just pull straight in at them. And this thing had no problem with this ditch right here when I started that previous row. I'll show you. It just runs right over this bad boy. So, I, I backed it around last time, but we'll flip it around forward this time. We'll get it back online. 
Oh, we'll let it auto. Back it up a little bit. And we're going again. Uh, I'm going to miss the trees this time, but we'll have to do some wiggling around next time. But yeah, so we're going to plant. Uh, I'll let this thing run on autopilot for just a second while I show you. So we're going to do 29. I got it set on weed filter right now. So 29 is good on weeds. We're going to do 29 in corn, 27, 28. We'll end up doing 39 on corn too, but it doesn't have. Actually, we're going to do all these in corn. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. And these, these three here. So we're going to have a lot of corn silage. If I fill up three silos, I'll just harvest the rest for grains. But, but I think 41 has, yeah, 40 and 41 are growing um, wheat. So, well, 40's got oats and 41's still growing wheat. So actually we're going to skip those. So we'll just do these across the bottom and these two for now. Maybe next season we'll do those other two in corn. We'll just have to see how much um, silage we get out of this harvest this year. So turn her off. We'll back this one around because it's a little easier than messing with the power lines in the ditch over there. And I missed the line. It's all right. Lock it on, and straighten it up for us. We might have to go up and back a couple times here to get it right on it. Sorry, man, this GPS is a lifesaver though for this stuff. It's pretty good on the other things too, but I really like it for the sprayers. And I think we'll be, yep, yeah, we'll be good on those trees too. We'll just have to deal with that patch on the other side of that barn down there and you can adjust the spring width it won't close in the arms I don't think but you can turn down the, the spring width if you don't need the full 48 we might try that here in a minute see what happens it might if you go inside those uh, last extenders there it might fold them in but I don't think it does this is my first time using this machine so we'll find out so we'll go to the end of this field and we'll run over there and hit that other side right, let's try it right quick uh, is it control power oh that's steering Sorry. Uh, where's the work with? You have to do it. Oh, it controls. It. Okay, so it doesn't. It just cuts it down. And then that's just the very front middle section there. Okay. Good to know. Get off this GPS line. Go over here. Passes like this. Spray these weeds down good. And we are good there. All right, let's run over here. Finish this field up, and we got three others over there, and then I'll check for lime. I hope we get the. <coughs> get to the corn planting today but if not um it's all right i'm sure you all have seen cornfield being planted before i won't i just wanted to show off this sprayer uh-oh wrong but Let's take a minute to get this thing straightened out. I guess I could turn on the all-wheel steering. I make it turn a little sharper, but it's all right for now.
We'll go ahead and go to the other side because I think our other fields are behind us. Yeah, we'll hit that little patch next to the road on the way back. So yeah, the um, I did plant a couple of fields in oats. Um, the only reason I did that is because I'm planning to use those fields for wheat this season, and the oats only take um, four months to grow, so they'll be done in time for um, for wheat planting this year. So I figured I'd might as well just use the space while I have it. So. I really don't need the oats for anything, but I do need the straw. We are, I had to buy some straw because we ran out. So <clears throat> the, um, the, feed, the feed mixer and the cow pens both require straw. So we're going to do a lot of straw here this year. Oh, took out that mailbox. Sorry, guy. Yes, I guess that stop sign does not have a collision, which is nice. And we can cut down our sprayer on this one. Let's save a little bit of herbicide here. Herbicide. Herbicide. I will not try the ditch to go around. Probably actually go ahead and just turn this GPS off now. Just freehand this last strip here. Fit in between these three. Oh, don't hit it. Okay. Yeah, see, I like this thing being in the front. Ahead and turn this back up. Well, did I not turn it on? It's on. Isn't it? Okay. Why is it not doing the whole thing? Weird. Okay. I don't know. We'll see on the next field. I might have to reset this thing or something. It anyway, didn't want to do the full length. Some reason maybe because it's over a piece of land we didn't own or something. I don't know. All right, we'll fold this guy up to go next piece. take this road all the way down to the bottom we'll do the straight ends first and then deal with the houses up here at the end I'm 
may have to run back and get some more chemical. Shouldn't have done that first. Scoot it over, yep. And that's the wrong way. Nope, that's the wrong way. Come on, little buddy. Do it. I'm just moving the the track for the GPS over to the left to the edge of the field there. Should we get it all? Lock on it. Turn it on, and it is not working. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, this feels bumpy. All right, it looks like whoever owned this field, I just purchased this field, whoever owned it before us went ahead and did the lime, so that's nice. I'll just run it all the way down, knock all these fields out at once, so. I tell you what, we're at about 17 minutes here. I will put a pause in here and uh, finish spraying the rest of these fields. And then I'll bring you guys back for the, the lime spreader. And then hopefully we can get a few minutes of corn planting in next month. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, welcome back. So I got the, I got these fields all sprayed and everything i did have to come back and get another load of uh chemical we stored in these uh and that one right there that uh, chemical silo right there this is our solids uh, our dry silo seeds and um and lime which i need to get that tractor out of the way because we are we have one field we need to put lime on i just tractor pulled up here to get seeds and fertilizer for the corn but need to put the lime first so we will grab this i think it's just the smallest one maybe 29 yep uh 39 needs it as well are we putting corn down there oh we are on it it doesn't have anything on it does it nope okay so 39 and 29 need lime all right we'll knock that out real fast <clears throat> Get some to open it up first. Yep. Our filling, we'll fill it with lime. Alrighty. Close it up. We'll go to work. I'll also use the GPS on this. I think I, oh man, I don't have the GPS on this tractor. This is the used tractor. Let's change that real fast. Sorry guys. Um, because the spreader. I mean, there's you just you waste so much if you don't stay online. Pull it in the shop here and make a change right quick. Uh, let's get rid of that. On it. All right, we'll take John Deere customize GPS. Yes. Yeah, four fifty-eight. That's right. Yeah, just the GPS. And for some reason, every time you make a change, it disconnects your stuff. We are rolling again.
All right, we are headed to 29. Uh, let's stay off the fields. Although this is just hibernate, hibernated grass, so it wouldn't kill it, but I'm not even sure if I have crop destruction turned on on this or not. But we'll stay on the roads for the fun of it. We'll take this first right and run down through there and knock this out. Uh, we're at 20 minutes. I'll probably just do 29. I can do 39 later because I want to um, show you guys the uh, corn planter. Just do a, a row or two of it before we run out of time here. <clears throat> Actually, this field's so small, we won't we won't even use the GPS. We'll just knock it out quick. We don't have to lower this one. Turn it on and go. Uh, maybe a little. Yep. Too far now. I'm too far again. <laughs> See, that's why I like these. Yes, because I can't drive. We'll get it on the next round. Actually, this one didn't... Well, this one just holds so much, it doesn't go through it quite as fast. This thing's massive. Looks like it's only going to be two passes on this one. Maybe a... Extra one down there at the, the thick end. Not that much, cause you miss. Come on, man. Let me run back and get that real fast. I am, I will admit, I'm not used to a spreader on a trailer. All of mine have been three-point attachments. It is nice that it holds so much, though. So. On the middle here. Bump that back up. Oh, look. I'm doing a little bit of the other field there, even though it doesn't need it. That's fine. I'll come back. There we go. Out of here and hit this section that I missed. Putting some lime on the grass field too. We'll get it done eventually. Yeah, definitely gonna have to hold on that other field if I wanna show you guys the, the corn now for sure. <laughs> All right, got her done. I will just leave this right here. We'll put it on the road, get it off the field. I will be back for you later. All right, let's see. It's a bear. 
<clears throat> Back this thing up, get fertilizer and seed. Do the fertilizer first. Did I miss it? Uh, I guess I did. There we go. All right, we are good to go. Close the covers. We'll run down here and start on those same fields. Well, not twenty nine. We'll start on the. The larger ones on the roadside. And we'll do a couple rows and we'll wrap it up. Oh, it's not. It's not planting season. Got to sleep. I had already fed the cows and watered the cows month so that is all we need to get done and we can line that other field before we seed it this month so yeah as you can see we got quite a bit of property maintenance um, habit of checking sales it's a nice feeder a um, mixer um, but we have that already and I like to check the cows just to make sure nobody's in trouble I need food, water, and I need to try to go ahead and get the milk out. See, these guys use a ton of straw, and that's times 10, because we have, obviously, 10 pastures, so. Uh, come on. Refresh. Okay. Good. Our silage is um, distributed from our um, fermenting silos. That's why it's always full. Hay and straw, good. All right, good to go. Get in the tractor, do a couple rows. So we want 27. Now, I might probably need to fertilize the oat fields as well. And we don't have the GPS on this one. That's all right. Oh, we can freehand the first row or two. Just make sure we're in the right month. Yep, April. And we'll be able to harvest in October. Alrighty. We got corn selected. Fire it up. Set it down. And we are planting. First corn of the season. We will have a lot of it and we'll just get this on the forage harvester um actually october is just a grain harvest so we'll be able to harvest for forage probably in september i think september's the best month right before it um seeds out so <laughs> that's it what we got going on I will get all these fields planted, <clears throat> and while we're in here, let's see, fertilized, nope, 40 is good, where else did I put oats? Two has oats, it's good, 22 I think I put oats on, it's good. All right, so we're all good on the oats. 
Yeah. I think one of these, I have the, I bought these two as well and I only put oats on one of them. I think one of them has barley, which also makes straw, so that's fine. We'll just, it had barley on it already, but is it fertilized? Yes. All right, we're all good on fertilizer, so. Yep, so I'll just continue with the, um, with the planning. I got to feed and water the cows this month, the usual, but that's how it goes. And that's where we're at on the dairy farm here. Um, just takes a lot of corn to feed 2,000 cows, so we'll keep it going. All right, guys, this is, um, this has been Farm Sim Dad. If you're, uh, if you're enjoying the channel, please, um, hit that subscribe button up on the screen now. And, um, if you like this video, drop a like down below. And as always, please leave me any comments, questions, or concerns that you have in the comments section, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. It's been fun, and I really like this map. So, we'll be doing some more dairy farm videos. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Farm soon dead. I'll catch you in the next one. See y'all.